Conservationists say the problem of trade in pangolins is increasing. The, sadly, the, this illegal trade is still booming. Um, we are losing the, the species. The problem of illegal trade in pangolins and pangolin scale is increasing every day and if not control and manage can easily lead to the extinction of the, of the specific species that are traded in. Pangolins are indeed the most trafficked mammals in the world classified as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List. Several reasons have been advanced for the increased interest in trafficking this unique mammal and its products. It's a misconception that the pangolin scales are medicinal, that they cure different diseases, they increase lactation in um, breastfeeding women. And... Parties to the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, CITES, meeting in South Africa for the 17th Conference of Parties COP17 in 2016, voted to ban the international commercial trade of all eight species of pangolin. On my recent visit to Noya district, which borders Matron Falls National Park, I engaged two former poachers to establish what prompted them to take on the business. The reason why I start poaching due to the lack of money for the school fees. I was arrested for almost five times. I stopped poaching in around 2019. He is now calling on his colleagues still in the business to drop it for their own safety and the good of the wildlife. They should stop poaching, they come back home and they concentrate in this uh, our work here in the community. Like for me, I'm a, I'm a builder. Another ex poacher who started poaching in 2012 says he abandoned the practice in 2016 after several arrests and loss of money. He tips government on the best way to tackle poaching. Mirua should come on ground and talk to us poachers and we give them advice on what to do to stop poaching. The conservationists say there is still need to sensitize the public about the new wildlife law. I think there needs to be more education about this law. People need to be more aware of you know, the animals you're not supposed to catch, and people should know about the consequences. Um. The illegal trade in wildlife and trafficking of animals are often made possible by the failure of some individuals within law enforcement circles to operate professionally. The issue why investigation normally fails is because of corruption. When people who are supposed to be supporting turn around and instead start working for the trafficker, start working for the bad guy, then investigation will not succeed. To improve prosecution, they are adopting a new strategy. The only way we can do it effectively is to do what we call a prosecution-led investigation. Involve the prosecution team from the time you are initiating the investigation so that they keep advising at every step. And at the time that uh, an arrest is taking place, the file is ready and you just take the person and prosecute. And also when you look at the article uh, 110 to 113, but also 115 and 116 of the Treaty for the East African Community, the provisions under this treaty, they compare us as member states to work together to conserve natural resources. Recently, a pangolin was rescued from Pabo in Amuru district. I am led to the wildlife hospital where the injured pangolin is receiving treatment. So someone was holding it and they were arrested by police and uh, the Ua was informed and brought here for rehabilitation and then we were released back into the wild. The animal upon examination was found to have um, snare wounds on uh, the right hind limb and uh, the snare wounds so far have been treated and uh, the case has a very good prognosis. This is a grand family, one of those that are much sought after. The experts believe after treatment it will be taken back to the wild where it is supposed to live. Let's all work together to conserve this special mammal. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.